Oh my god. <laughs> I can't actually believe that the time is here for me to actually say welcome to part one of my moving vlog. Um, I have been talking about this series and dreaming about this series for a very long time and the fact that it's actually here now is crazy. I am going to be moving out of my family home for the very first time into an apartment all of my own. Um, I definitely <laughs> like I'm very, very excited, but I also feel extremely overwhelmed. Um, I have lived with my family for like 26 years now, and it is obviously a big change going out on your own, um, but I am definitely ready for it. I've been ready for it for quite a while, um, and it's just finally happened, and it's happened with literally a place that I could have only dreamed of. Um, so I'm gonna be renting, and I have found an apartment that just, if I was going to decorate a place, that is how I would decorate it. Um, my nephew's car seat in the background. This is how I would decorate it. I'm coming to you today. Um, I've been up since half past six and it is now currently half past three and I, I am honestly shattered. I've had wedding makeup and another makeup appointment. I've been to Argos to pick some bits up and I'm just, yeah, I am very, very tired. Um, but I'm very excited. So I'm starting off this video and I do actually have a clip to show you. Um, I did film a clip when I found out that the landlord had accepted my application and I'm going to insert it now um, because... <laughs> It's quite uh, it's it's quite funny actually. This is me after just finding out that I managed to secure the apartment that I wanted. <laughs> I feel I feel very overwhelmed. I'm very excited, obviously. <sighs> Okay, I'm back and I'm <laughs> I'm not as emotional <laughs> as I was um, earlier. I just got really, really overwhelmed. Obviously, it's a very, very big change and this is going to be the first time that I've moved out of um, my family home. So, it's a big adjustment. Obviously, I'm leaving my family. Um, I'm literally going to be like 10 minutes away from them though. So, I definitely don't need to be this dramatic. Um but I do get on really well with my family and obviously it is a sad time to be leaving them. But also I am going on to the next chapter of my life, which is really, really exciting. Um, so as I'm speaking to you now, I received the tenancy agreement and I'm just currently in the middle of submitting like all my documents and stuff to the landlord. Um, I can't wait to show you this property. Like... I really can't wait. I'm really, really excited. Um, hopefully this is all going to happen pretty quickly um, because I'm thinking maybe by next week I'll probably have the keys. Uh, so I've got like the weekend once I know that everything's like double, triple confirmed to get a bit of shopping in and get some stuff. So that was me when I found out that the landlord accepted my application. However, I still felt like I couldn't... Oh, my hair's a mess. There's no point in me trying to... I still felt like there was no point in me getting excited until I knew that everything was like finalised, all the checks and stuff had come back. We actually had an email about an hour ago to say that all of this stuff had gone through and they basically asked me for a moving date. So I am very, very excited. I can't wait. Um, oh, there's a lot to do, a lot. Because obviously I'm starting from fresh. I don't have anything. I always have like my bedroom furniture, but other than that, I don't have anything, I don't have a couch, I don't have a fridge, anything. So it's going to be like a really big process of getting everything sorted. I've actually just been to Argos and picked up a couple of bits. So I'm going to show you what they are now. I am going to be filming an empty apartment tour. I'm not sure whether that will be up before this or not. If it is up before it, I'll link it down below. If it's coming, then it'll be the next video. So keep an eye out for that. I am actually also getting a new car in the next week as well so it's just very crazy time a lot happening very overwhelming went out the other day and bought my first home bit which was some tea towels and some matches in a little like decorative jar and then i wanted to get my little bathroom set because i, I didn't want to buy any big stuff and have it lying around for ages if it was going to take a long time so this is by habitat and this is a matte black um soap dispenser 
it is absolutely gorgeous. I actually am obsessed with it. So the bathroom in the apartment is like um, white with like a, a really faint gray marble. So I thought I'll go with black. I found a bathroom on Pinterest and I was like that. All them accessories, that is what I want. So it comes with the soap dispenser, which feels really good quality. It's £14 for the set. So there's that. And then it also comes with, I'm very impressed with this, the matching toothbrush holder, which I love. And then a soap dish, I believe. Yeah, and then a little soap dish. But to be honest, I don't really use soap. I use shower gel. I mean, I do wash. I use like shower gel um, and like stuff like that. So I would never really buy soap. So I was thinking to use this to put like my bits of jewelry on when I'm getting in the shower and just have it as like a little trinket dish instead. I don't know let me know if you can think of anything else i can use it for but that is the first thing i just i really love the matte black i just feel like they feel really good quality as well okay so the next thing i'm not going to take out actually because it is a bin <laughs> I, I never thought i would be showing bins on youtube but it's in this big box and i feel like it would be a bit of a mistake to take it out um so there's a bin oh you can see on here it's just one of them <laughs> pedal bin things um and it's black iron <laughs> i'm not really i have to say i'm not an avid ironer so is, is that what you say avid anyway i don't iron a lot um but i did think like there are some t-shirts and stuff that you do need an iron for uh, and i don't feel like i'd get away with not having one this is like 22 quid nothing special it's just an iron I really wasn't asked which iron I had, just wanted the cheapest one. Um, and then I also, my auntie has picked me up today um, from the shop where she works, a kettle and a toaster. So I need to transfer the money for that. I need to do that actually. Um, and then I'll go and pick them up from her probably tomorrow. And then I'll show you those as well. Um, but yeah, very, very exciting. So that's what I've got so far. We're actually going to Ikea tomorrow. We're actually going to Ikea tomorrow. I've got a shopping list and I'm very, very excited to get there and get shopping. Mm. I'm going to get mainly things like um, wine glasses and kitchen utensils and stuff like that. I am going to have a look at the sofas, but um, they aren't delivering sofas at the minute because they're too in demand. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to get one from there anyway, unless it was in stock and I can get someone to come and pick it up for me. Oh, that's nice. Very exciting. I can't believe it's finally here. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I'll probably check back in with you tomorrow and we'll go to Ikea together. It's actually still the same day, but I've come to be and m to pick some bits up. Um, just had a bit of spare time. Wild Saturday night. Spend it in B&M. Crush, 2 .99. Bargain. Dust pen and brush, two forty nine. Oh, I prefer these, and these match the scheme of my kitchen. Right, swap that one. Hmm. This brush also matches. I mm, don't like the bristles on that though. Toilet brush. <laughs> Just on our way to Ikea. Chaz is here. Say hi to vlog Chaz. Chaz is on trolley duty. Do you mind? Yeah, so this is the sofa that they're looking at. And then also going to get a matching footstool, obviously, if it's in stock. I'll go and show you the footstool because it has storage in. Um, and it's a really great price and really, really comfortable. <laughs> so this is the matching footstool. Lift it up, Chaz. And then storage in there. Love that. Love the colour. And then love this coffee table. Literally perfect. £45. Let's go, chef. Picked up some glasses, some wine glasses, a baking dish, 
not getting them. Cheese grate and microwave thingy my bob. Pan, pan, stop it. Carafe thing, jug thing and a plastic jug. Finished all our shopping. Mum and Chaz are just in the queue to get a hot dog and a drink. Got wine glasses, normal glasses, pan stand, two of these, carafe things, jug, flint roller, bacon. Uh, four of these mugs. Mum and Dad got some of them as well. Yeah, yep. Flint roller Charlie's been spinning and broke. Uh, microwave. What do you call them? Cheese grater. Microwave. Plate cover. Plate cover, that's it. Cheese grater and then a big version of the glass. These one, this one was only £2.50. That one was £2. I don't think it's bad. Did anybody else know that they actually do warm sugar donuts at Ikea where they get the hot dogs? Mm. Chaz has got a hot dog, plain, no sauce. Obviously a psychopath. Trina's got ketchup and onions on hers. Blech. Len's just got onions on his. Oh. Oh, and he's got meatballs. <sighs> okay, so my hair's looking a little bit worse for wear, but I thought I'd show you a couple more things that I've got. Today, I actually picked up the keys, which is very exciting. Um, hold on, where are they? Which ones are they? Okay, here. Very exciting. I've got way too many things on here. I need to sort that out. Um, I don't even know what some of these keys are for, but yeah, so I picked those up today, very exciting. We went in, just have a light like, check around and stuff, um, and know anything like for ourselves, obviously for moving in. We are going back this evening to measure up for the fridge, um, and me, the washer and the couch. Um, so I'm going to show you my kettle because I am obsessed with it. It matches my theme for the kitchen literally perfectly. I can't believe that this even exists. Um, so here it is and it's got the wooden handle oh. oh my god it's got the wooden handle and the wooden top on it and then it's got like a chrome thing on the top there um, yeah absolutely obsessed with that I don't know 20 or 18 pounds something along them lines I think it was toaster nothing too special because I felt like I really didn't need um Oh, I'm not getting all that out. You can see what it looks like. I felt like I really didn't need a full size toaster considering I'm on my own. So um, this one should be more than sufficient enough. So we're going to go this evening, measure up and start taking some of this stuff to get it out of my parents' house. I'm going to show you what the hallway looks like right now. Um, and I'm going to show you some other bits which I got for Christmas last year, actually, because I was supposed to be moving out earlier this year. Um, and obviously ended up delaying it. So today's been a very hectic day. I picked up my car this morning, my new car, um, came home for like half an hour and then went back out for the keys and then got the keys, went to the apartment, came back home, did some work and then now it's tea time, back to have my tea and then we're gonna go back. So I'm not gonna take you with me to the apartment today because I am gonna do, I'm gonna film an empty apartment tour when I'm there t tonight, this evening. Um, so that will go up this Sunday, yes, that will be it, this Sunday. Um, and I've vlogged getting my new car and stuff, which will go out a week today, next Wednesday. And then I'll bring you like moving vlog part two next Sunday. So they're all gonna be quite close together and compact. And then obviously I do have a lot of things still to get and obviously it won't be finished for a good few weeks, maybe even a month or two. And then I'll do like a final like apartment tour when it's all finished. So yeah, very exciting, but let's go and see what the hallway looks like. So we've got everything here ready to take. We've got a huge H&M box of stuff there. Um, the bits that I got from Ikea the other day, and I've actually picked up since some pasta bowls from Tesco. Um, and then over here we've got um, the bin. I've got a microwave down there. Um, and I also have got these from last Christmas two balloon wine glasses um this is the hold on this is the pan set i also got for christmas last year um cutlery set so just a chrome cutlery set i feel really really good quality these these were also a gift i've got some highball glasses and some shorter glasses and then gin glasses my white company bath mat which i'm very excited to put in the bathroom um so yeah, all this will be going over today and just get some stuff basically out of my parents' house which I'm sure they'll be glad about. I'm gonna end part one here. God, I look a bit of a mess. 
I'm going to end part one here just because obviously next we'll be coming the apartment. So this has been more like the home where shopping. I've still got a couple of big things to get which I'll update you in part two. And then obviously next we'll be coming the empty apartment tour. So make sure you subscribe so you can see when that goes up. Um, and yeah, very exciting. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you here again very soon. Bye. Let me feel your